It feels like summer is here, there's more sunshine, th things are opening up some, we're starting to be able to bring more people together. And I know that for some that's an exciting thing, for some it's a scary thing. Um, and as we start to do that, it's made me think a lot about the importance of bringing people together. It's also made me think of my time a little bit more. For the last year, there was a limit on what I could do, so even though I was still both busy and not busy in this weird COVID life, um, as things open up again, I'm more confronted with how am I prioritizing my time, who am I prioritizing my time with, and what does that look like? Yeah, I think one of the things that we've had to do within our family dynamic is recognize my husband's an introvert and I'm an extrovert, so I need the people time, but he doesn't so much need the people time. Small and, amount of people. <laughs> yeah, but he gets that at work. And so for him, that's like more than enough people time. <laughs> but we also recognize the importance of doing life with other people and having that community to be influenced by and also influence. And so we've tried to be really intentional about looking at our week and our month and balancing, okay, we do need time to rest and just be at home with our family and be intentional with our son and each other in our marriage. But also there's that time to be in community and fellowship with other people. And so there is a balance. Like you can't just be all in one boat or all in the other. And even along that too of like, okay, we're not just like binging on Netflix, but we're like being intentional with our time. And so I think for us, we've really had to balance that. Like, okay, in a normal week, okay, maybe once a week we're doing some gathering with other people and then we have time for just us and time for our marriage and all the things, but really looking at what is that balance and not swinging too far one way or the other. Yeah, and I think as we start to move to some different reopening kind of tiers or different things with COVID, it's a perfect time for us to take a look at and evaluate what we're doing with our time, what we're doing with people. And I think maybe there's some lessons from the season that some people realized, hey, if I slow down or do a little bit less, it actually can be a healthy thing for my family. But then there's also that other tendency now that we've gotten used to that. We've become complacent and we haven't stretched those muscles of even like, do I shake your hand or that's awkward because I forgot how to do that. Elbow bumps. Yeah, what does it look like? And as we start to be able to do, do that of meeting people again, it's going to be important, and I know for our family anyways, it's important for us to start to do that and start to st like strengthen those muscles and not just be compl complacent at home. We are you know, reevaluating the schedule a little bit, but knowing that you know, it's so important that we're around people. And as a Christian, part of my role is to influence the world and be an influencer. That's what we're talking about. And I think one of the biggest ways we can do that in our society is by gathering people and bringing them together. And so it can be from as simple as just a, a casual hangout to a barbecue as things get nicer. I know that's something our family likes to do and bring people over. Um, but things like that to bring people together. And I think for a lot of, some of us maybe are introverts. Some of us, that's not necessarily our comfort zone. Maybe for you, it is a little bit more <laughs> in your personality. But we were even talking recently about that of, well, how often do you actually do it, even if it is right. in your strength? I think for a lot of us, we don't do that. And so what are ways that you can play to your strengths? I think I shared on Sunday that later this month, I'm going bringing a bunch of motorcycle riders together because that's something I enjoy as a passion. And just bringing people together, it's important during normal seasons, but I think coming out of COVID, it's going to be extra important and gives us a, an even bigger influence for people. Well, and I think too that in this year, we've kind of forgotten some of our social skills, if you will. And even the other day, I took my son Dougie to Home Depot and I was like, okay, wave bye-bye. And he just sat there and I was like, oh, he doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> and I think for some of us, we've forgotten how to do that, like beyond the handshake, but like, how do you do small talk with people? And how do you like hear about somebody's life and like get to know people? And like, what are the things you're supposed to say and not say? And you know, and is there even anything to talk about anymore? <laughs> right. What, <laughs> what have you what, been up to? What's uh, new? Nothing. I've been at home. <laughs> But I think there's such a good value in doing life with other people and breaking through some of that awkwardness and spending time with each other. And I think when you do bigger gatherings, now granted we're not talking like thousands of people, but if you gather like four or five families together, you're going to have different experiences. Some people are working, some people aren't working. Some people have seen family, some people haven't seen family. And so there's things that you can talk about. 
but there's such a good value in spending time with other people and doing life with other people and seeing how people are doing and checking in and being like, no, really, like, how are you doing? What is going on in your life? What can I be praying for you or celebrating with you or encouraging you with whatever the case may be. Um, but sometimes when you're in a bigger group, you don't feel as much pressure. At least this is what my introverted husband tells me. Um, that when you're in a bigger group, he doesn't feel as much pressure that he has to talk to everybody, but he can pick the one or two people. And so I feel like it's a little bit more welcoming and inviting when you have a little bit of a bigger gathering, because then you can play to everybody's strengths in that. There are the people that are like, life of the party, like, here I am, I'm ready to party. And then you have the other people that are like, I'm just going to sit in the corner, like, don't talk to me. But in a bigger group, you can kind of balance that and not feel like you're not welcome or feel like you don't belong. Well, I think all of those people need community. Yep. All those people, it's valuable for them to be around other people. Some bigger doses, smaller doses, depending on the person. But that's why gathering people, I think, is one of the biggest ways we can be an influencer because it's something that is good for all of us to be around people. And so as we do that, we're definitely influencing people. And that brings up the second thing we wanted to talk about today, which was our time. I know I was talking with somebody about this after the first week of this series and he was talking about, well, how do I, what do I prioritize? What do I do with my time? And, you know, I want to influence the world. I want to change the world. And even this last week we were talking about the influence moms have. It was Mother's Day, how much of an influence they have on their kids. And you're investing deeply. You're investing a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money on just maybe one, maybe it's a dozen if you have a huge family, <laughs> um, but you're investing deeply in a, in a small amount of people. Now, obviously your life, you, you invest with other people as well, um, but it's important for us to make some decisions about the priorities and be intentional of where are we investing, where are we being an influencer, and if we're spread too thin, then we almost lose our influence because we're just everywhere and nobody really is that affected by what we do. Yeah, I think that's such a good reminder because I think sometimes for people you carry the weight of like, I do need to change the world. And it's like, no, we have Jesus for that. Like he is our savior for everybody. Like we do have a circle of influence that we should be doing something with, whether it be family or friends or coworkers, wherever you've been planted, but reminding yourself that like, it isn't your job to influence everybody. And I think once you take that weight off, it's like, oh, okay, I can go grab coffee once a month with this person, or I can go do this and that, and then still sleep at night <laughs> and still see my family and still, you know, that when you take that pressure off, I think that there is a, an opening of time that then you can recognize, okay, I don't need to be in 20 different places. I need to be in five or three or two or one, whatever it is. But recognizing that like you aren't the savior of the world and that's not your job to influence everybody. Yeah. And the opposite side of that, if you're only in one place, maybe there's three or five that you need to start being in because yeah. you're too small. Um, but, but knowing and evaluating what is the right amount of spaces in each season that might be different. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things we're doing as well for us as a church, for us as we lead the church. Um, and you'll notice starting next week even, our Tacoa Talks are going to change a little bit. We'll be back with the two of us in the future. But for the summer, we're going to do things a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more simple. You'll see just one of us likely each week um, sharing a little bit about what's going on in our life as we're processing what's happening with the church and we'll just be sharing some of those updates and a chance for you to to see what's going on so we're going to keep doing this throughout the summer but like I said you are going to see it change as we change and evaluate some of our priorities this summer as a church we're going to be doing more in our community we're going to be doing more to bring people together and gather them and build towards what we are going to be doing come next fall and so we're going to be more intentional about being in the community gathering people um, and a little bit less time just online. <laughs> still important. There's still a value for online. Um, and there's an influence we can have there. Uh, but we want to focus more of our time this summer out in the community with people. So we hope to see you both online throughout the summer as well as in person at some of the gatherings that we're going to be holding. We'll let you know about those as they approach. But we appreciate all of you that watch faithfully some of you if you're just checking it out we're glad you're with us if you are just checking it out for the first time or a couple times here if you haven't yet 
subscribe below, hit the like button on this video, and we'll see you around.